lovely people thanks so much for your support thanks for subscribing to my channel please if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing and also don't forget to share this video you might win a soul by sharing this video today too i am here to give you a summary of the monday and tuesday lessons of lesson six and monday talks about god the giver of all good gifts god the giver of all good gifts the monday lesson is drawing attention to the fact that every good gift every perfect gift comes from god and god who created us knows all our personalities he knows us very well and knows the kind of gifts that will suit us and help us to perform the tasks he has given to us god has given each individual on earth a specific task to perform and so he will ensure that he will give us the gifts that we need to fulfill or perform our god-given task there was an assignment for every individual and god gives spiritual gifts to all to accomplish the divine task or ministry that they are called to do we all have a part to play in the soul winning business and so god will give us the gifts he knowing us will give us what we need to ensure that we will play our part very well when we surrender our lives to christ and through baptism become members of his body the church the holy spirit imparts gifts so that we can serve the body and witness to the world amen just as jesus christ when he got baptized he got the gift of the holy spirit to empower him to minister for his ministry so if christ being fully god needed the holy spirit empowerment needed the gifts then you and i who are pure human beings mortal beings needs the holy spirit more and more never should we disparage the smallest physical intellectual or spiritual capital no gift is small before god and so we shouldn't uh, look down upon some gifts and uh, even as individuals we shouldn't think that oh as for me my gift is not really necessary what i have is not necessary because i cannot stand out there and shout and preach like this person i am not needed every gift is necessary and we are encouraged by sister wife to use this gift to the glory of god we are moving straight to tuesday the tuesday lesson says the purpose of spiritual gifts the purpose of spiritual gifts and tuesday lesson we are made to know that the gifts god gives to us is he gives us the gifts for a common good when we read first corinthians 12 7 ephesians for 11 to 16 we are made to know that god gives us the gift to edify he doesn't give us the gifts for self-glory when he gives us the gifts it's for the purpose of witnessing to grow his church to perform the tasks he has given us not to glorify ourselves spiritual gifts serve several purposes god gives them to people so they can nurture and strengthen his church to accomplish his ministry every gift that the bible talks about in uh, romans 12 and first corinthians 12 when we read them all these gifts are there and god gives them to us for the purpose of edification to grow his church you may want you may wonder the the relationship between spiritual gifts and talents both of them are given by God, but one is given for the purpose of divine work, and that is the spiritual gift. God gives the spiritual gift to us for divine work. Unlike um, talents, like someone is ta talented in singing, someone is talented in um, shoemaking, someone is talented in art, drawing. It's also given by God. And these talents are usually or normally born with it. We are born with it but with spiritual gifts we are not necessarily born with it as we go about our christian activities god sees that we need the gifts at this time this particular gift at this time for his work he will give it to us and so example is someone might find him or herself somewhere teaching and maybe the language is not familiar god can give the gift of speaking in tongues so that the person can speak in the language of those people or the people who understand the person's language for the purpose of what and uh, the message getting to those people and so with spiritual gifts 
God gives them to us specifically for divine work. The special gifts of the Spirit are not the only talents represented in the parable. It includes all gifts and endowments, whether original or acquired, natural or spiritual. All are to be employed in Christ's service. In becoming his disciples, we surrender ourselves to him with all that we are and have. These gifts he returns to us, purified and ennobled, to be used for his glory in blessing our fellow men. Amen. And so every gift, whether yours, you were born with it, whether uh, your spiritual gifts you acquired, it's or you are quite like some going to school to learn to become a pastor and we're not pastoring it's also part of the spiritual gift and so someone might not have that spiritual gift as a pastor but might go through education to learn to become a pastor that person acquired and the sister white advice is that all are needed all are supposed to be used in the service of god whether um, we, we were given by God direct spiritually or we learnt it, we acquired it. God expects that we use it in his, in his service. The function of all church leadership is to assist each member in discovering their spiritual gifts and teach them to use this gift to build up the body of Christ. Amen. And so as church, it is our responsibility that we help each other to, to know their gifts so that we don't become like that um, person who didn't use his or her gifts and God took it from him, that servant. We all need to recognize our gifts and use them to the glory of God. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sharing the video and thanks for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing and don't forget to share. God bless you.